Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at how to set up a USB installer drive uh, for OS X Yosemite. Uh, now for uh, some of you, uh, you may have already gone through the upgrade process and everything is fine with your Mac and that's great. Uh, but there may be a time where you want to reinstall Yosemite and start with a clean slate. Where you want to wipe out your internal hard drive and then you want to start all over. And I'm going to walk you through the steps of doing a clean install, but what I thought I'd do first is go into detail on how to set up an installer utility so that you can do this much more easily. Uh, for some of you, you may want to only download Yosemite once, and maybe you want to put it on multiple Macs, and so instead of having to download it on each machine and wait for your bandwidth to catch up, you could create this installer drive and just take it machine to machine and make that work. Uh, some of you may not have uh, you know, access to the internet when you want to do the install, so you can't download the Yosemite installer first, and so there's a variety of reasons why you might want to have uh, a USB installer disk. It's just great for uh, those times when you need those quick backups, and it's just sort of a good security tool uh, to have in your tool box. So what I'm going to do today is cover how to uh, set up that USB bootable install drive and a couple of ways to do it so that you have some options in case one of the ways doesn't work. Uh, now the first thing you want to do uh, in getting started is you want to go to the Mac App Store and actually download Yosemite. You need to have a copy of that. Now a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, if you've got a Mac that came with an installer disk or something like that, those are usually installs that are uh, put together for that particular build of your Mac. And so what you want to do is uh, make sure that you don't have a copy of Yosemite that's earlier than that install drive. So if you make sure you download it from the Mac App Store, you're probably going to be fine in creating this installer and it'll work well with your Macs. But I just wanted to let you know that in case you're trying it uh, from an older installer, it's just not going to work well for you if it's one that's previous to whatever your Mac shipped with if you have a new Mac. So just wanted to warn you on that. So when you go into the Mac App Store, you download uh, Yosemite. Now I've already done that, so I've got... Uh, I've got Yosemite already in my Applications folder. And what you want to do is you can check Finder and just make sure that you've got the Install OS X Yosemite sitting in here because we're going to use this uh, to create our bootable USB drive. Uh, let me put that down. First thing we need to do is put in a USB drive. And what you want to do is go ahead and open uh, the disk utility. And uh, you can do that with a spotlight search and pull it up. And what you want to do is go ahead and partition your drive. Now you can see here I've got about a 32 gigabyte drive in here. I don't need all of that space. Uh, so I can create a couple of partitions. So what I'm going to do is create two partitions here. And one of your partitions you want to be uh, at least 8 gigabytes because that's what you'll need for the installer is about 8 gigabytes of space. And so uh, if I just go like this, I can just either zoom this in until I hit 8 gigabytes and get as close as I can, you know, somewhere in there. Let's see, 799. So let's just do, we'll do eight, eight and a half to be safe, let's say. Uh, let's come up just a little bit. And so you got to kind of go through and feel this out if you do it that way. Let's just do 8.54. Uh, and so that's what you want to use for uh, your installer. And I'm just going to call this one untitled because we're going to use this to actually create the bootable partition. Let me just delete that. What we're going to do with this is, uh, this way it leaves me more space if I want to use this for storage. That way I can also include uh, the bootable install uh, drive right on that same USB drive. Now what you want to make sure is when you come into options, you want to make sure that it's a GUID partition table because that's what you need to make it bootable. And so since we've seen that, that that's okay and ready to go. You can also check it for the other partition just to make sure as well. And with that in mind, we're going to, I'll just call the second one storage. So it has a little difference to it, and we're going to say apply. It's going to say it's going to erase it. We're going to say sure, go ahead and partition it. And so now it's creating the partition map. It's formatting the disk, and it's going to put that together, and then it's going to remount uh, my USB drive as two separate drives. It's going to appear that way anyway because it's going to give me those two partitions. And so let me let this run here, and once it's done running, I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's mounted. And there it is. You can see we've got the untitled drive here and the storage drive mounted and ready to go. So now all we need to do now that we've got those set up is we want to go ahead and start the install process. And so let me just put this down. And what we're going to do is we're going to start the install process with a, uh, you know, a GUI uh, or GUI uh, interface that's a little bit simpler to do. 
and that's called Disk Maker 10. Now, Disk Maker 10's been around. Uh, it's been used to be able to boot from uh, systems going back to Lion. It started as Lion Disk Maker, and every year the uh, developer has updated it to make it uh, work for each successive operating system, including uh, Yosemite, which he's just updated now. Uh, again, it's a free uh, uh, installer, but uh, they do have the uh, option to donate, as you can see up here. So if you find it useful, it'll probably be a good idea to uh, go ahead and do the donation so that the developer can keep developing uh, this application as he goes along. So what you want to do is go ahead and download uh, the installer. You can see there's a couple of download mirrors here that allow you to do that. And uh, once you get it downloaded, let me just pop this down. Uh, you want to go into uh, applications there in the finder. Again, you got to make sure the install is right here. And let's go up to Disk Maker uh, right here, and we want to go ahead and launch the application. Okay, let me just put this down here. As you can see, uh, see it says, Welcome to Disk Maker X. Which version do you want to make a boot disk of? Now, the great thing about this is that you can make a boot disk for Mountain Lion, Mavericks, or Yosemite right from the same application. And so the developer's done a great job of just keeping these legacy versions in there. And so as long as you've got a copy of the installer uh, in your applications folder, uh, you could make legacy uh, boot versions as well. And if you've got a big enough USB drive, you can do it all on the same drive. Uh, for us, we're going to go ahead and do Yosemite. So I'm just going to click on that. And so basically it says, it's, hey, it's found a copy in the applications folder. Do I want to use this copy? Uh, if I had it in another location, I could go ahead and say use another copy. But we're going to go ahead and use the copy we've got in that folder. And so here's what it says. What kind of disk are you going to use? Uh, you can use an 8 gigabyte thumb drive or another kind of disk. And what it's telling you is it's basically going to completely erase it. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is this. If you have a USB thumb drive that's exactly 8 gigabytes, then you want to go ahead and use this version and you're fine. Uh, but if you did what I just did and that was partitioned that drive, uh, you want to skip this and you want to say use another kind of disk because you want to specify just the partition that you need. So we're going to say another kind of disk. And it's going to ask us which one to use. And so there's our untitled one we want to use right there. So we click on that. And we say choose this disk. And so now it's just going to give us the warning, hey, it's going to erase everything on that volume and uh, make sure that you don't have any data that's going to be lost, which we know we don't because we already erased it. So we're going to say erase, then create the disk. And so now it's going to say, hey, it's going to ask for administrator privileges, basically just to unbuild the install disk, not to take any data from you. So we're going to say go ahead and continue. And so now it's going to go ahead and start the process. Now it may take a few minutes here to load the screen. So if you hit that and you don't see anything right away, don't panic. It's just going to take a few minutes to load everything. So there you, as you can see, I got this window that popped up in the back and now it is asking me for my credentials. So let's go ahead and put those in. And once you've got those in, you click OK. And so now it's going to start uh, basically building the installer. And so it's going to take a little bit of time. So give yourself, uh, you know, it could be anywhere from 15, 20, 30 minutes, uh, sometimes a little shorter. Uh, you're going to see this bar and at first think nothing's going on because this progress bar doesn't really show progress. It just sits here. But you'll start to see windows that will pop up as the installer starts. Uh, you know, it's going to erase the uh, partition that you got there. It's going to then go and start uh, opening up the files it needs and starts to move them over uh, to be able to set it up the way it wants. So I'm going to let this go ahead and run, and when it's finished, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here we are on the other side. Uh, we basically have finished the process. Let me just uh, click on this here. It basically, it says that your boot disk is ready. To use it, you reboot your Mac, press the Option Alt key, and then select it on Startup Preference in order to boot from it. And so you can actually say open open startup disk preferences if you want to to go ahead and do the install so if you're gonna do it right away you can do that or you can just quit and then again there's a nice button there for making a donation and like I said I'd recommend doing that if you can uh, to help the developer out so that this great piece of software keeps rolling I'm just gonna say quit right there and so as you can see now we've got our boot drive that says uh, basically Yosemite install disk sitting right here and if I click on it you can see it actually makes it just like the install disk uh, that you would get from Apple uh, it looks really great and you can just double click on this install Yosemite and you're good to go and everything's ready to start so again just a great tool to be able to do that you can see here's my storage partition is still there so it installed it on this partition so that's one way you can go ahead and create that. Let me just show you another way for those of you that prefer the terminal or just in case you might run into some kind of issue with uh, you know, Disk Maker X, uh, there's another way that you can go ahead and set that up. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that with the terminal. 
Okay, now, in order for us to use Terminal to create the install, a bootable install uh, disk on the USB drive, just like we did with DiskMaker uh, 10 or DiskMaker X, you still want to make sure that you have your install OS 10 Yosemite, uh, again, in your applications folder. And you want to make sure that you have your uh, 8 gigabyte USB uh, drive uh, attached as well, just like we did before. We're just going to do something a little different. Now, what we're going to do with Terminal, let me just pop this down here, and you want to pull up your Terminal window, is we're going to use uh, something uh, called create install media and so it's basically a Unix command that's inside the installer itself and actually DiskMaker uh, X actually uses that itself in creating the installer it does it just puts it in a nice package for you so what we're gonna do is come into uh, terminal here and I'm just gonna paste the command in so you don't have to watch me type it and so here's what we're doing you want to do it at sudo which is root and you're gonna to go to applications install OS OS X Yosemite app that's the installer app it's going to get the contents of the resources and a, an actual uh, command there called create install media. And it's going to say volume volumes untitled. So it's going to, to the un untitled disk that we set up uh, on there, that USB drive. That's why we called it untitled. If you have a different name for it, you're going to need to change that right here. Then you've got application path, applications, install OS 10, Yosemite app, and then no interaction. So we're going to go ahead and hit return here, and it's going to ask us to authenticate. Okay. Once I put that in there, and I did type it in, again, in terminal, you don't see the cursor move when you put in a password. I'm just going to hit return. And so now you can see that it's erasing the disk, and it's basically setting up the installer too. You can see it's copying the installer files to disk. And so in a terminal way, it's kind of showing you what it's doing. Uh, you know, when DiskMaker uh, X was doing its thing, you just had that bar across the screen, and Windows started popping up as it was doing things. Uh, in terminal, it pretty much just shows you this way. So as it's doing its thing, uh, it's not going to tell you anything. It's just going to kind of sit there, and then it will show you what it's done as different things happen. So right now it's copying the installer files to the disk, and so we've got to wait for that to happen. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to let that run, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like on the other side. And I just want to point out, too, you can see the Create Install Media right here at the top that it's working on. So again, I'll let it run. I'll come back. I'll show you what it looks like once it's finished. Okay, so here we are on the other side. As you can see, it uh, after it finished copying the files to disk, it made the copy was complete, made the disk bootable, Copy the boot files, and the copy is complete, so it says everything's done. And so if we actually go into the Finder, as we can see here, now we've got this Install OS 10 Yosemite. That's what it calls the partition. There's the installer right there, ready to go. You can see it's been created, and we're all ready to go. Uh, and I still have my other partition that's here as well, and it worked perfectly. So that's another way that you can do it there uh, with Terminal. So hopefully between those couple of ways of setting up a boot drive for OS 10 Yosemite, that will help you get started. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to do a clean install now using these uh, this particular boot drive that you've created and show you what the clean install looks like and walk you through the process. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.